Hey, Ryan Murphy checking in, 5 a.m. thoughts. So the title, love what you do. What do I mean, Ryan? Don't give me the mushy, mushy, lovey, lovey, dude. Here's the deal. For the people that have been watching, think about how many hours of deliberate practice does it take to become world-class at something. And remember, there's a huge difference between just going out and practicing, banging on the piano, versus actually going ahead and saying, I am gonna chunk this specific line of music, and if I n make any mistakes, I'm gonna go back and start to the beginning. It's, um, um, my intention is to be as close to perfect as possible. I'm outside of my comfort zone in deliberate practice. So if you think about ultimately successful people, and one of the books that I, comes to mind for me is The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle, you have this moment of ignition, this moment where you see something and you go, I, oh, I wanna become that. And it could be different for everybody. For me, it was when I noticed and when I saw at the Texas Baseball Ranch for the first time, Eric Bender throwing a ball 330 feet and long toss like this and just watching the ball majestically soar, I said, dude, I wanna be that. And then when I found out that, oh my God, I could be that as long as I'm willing to work, Dude, I am in. Sign me up. I will, I'll work whatever. Whatever you need, I'm going to give it. If all it takes is effort, dude, I'm in. And if you think about 10,000 hours is what it takes to become a world-class expert, that is the equivalent of five hours a day, six days a week, for 10 years. And this is a minimum. Anders Ericsson found this is a minimum of, of effort that's been put, up, put forth by people who are world class. So think about it. If you don't love what you do, if you don't have passion for what it is that you're after, you're playing a losing game. You need to step back and look into your own heart and figure out what is it that you love. And no matter how ridiculous it seems to other people, do you know how many people told me it was so crazy to try to move to Texas to learn how to throw 90 miles an hour? A ton. You know how many people told me it's so crazy to try to start a baseball business? Oh man, you're never gonna make any money doing that, man. You're not gonna be able to sustain, you're not gonna be able to, like, if I had listened to all the people that told me no, who knows what I'd be doing right now. I'd probably be sitting behind a desk at some job up in Massachusetts, miserable, hating my life, okay? Passion, loving what you do, is gonna be the fuel that's gonna propel you to take the risks and make the commitment that's required to be great. And if you don't have that passion, that spark, that ignition, nothing else matters. So please like, share, ask questions. Let us know what type of topics you want to hear. For the people who watch faithfully, we love you. We appreciate you. For those tuning in for the first time, check us out. Check us out on, on YouTube. Check out the website, murphybaseballperformance.com. And our goal is to wake up every day and punch the world in the mouth by chasing our dreams. We're dream chasers, baby. We love you. Bye.